Greetings, viewers! My name is Mr. Orbotron, and we're going to be doing a one-off Let's Play tonight. We're going to be playing Legend of Princess. It's this amazing indie game I found. It's, uh, basically the Legend of Zelda, but it's a fan game. I've, uh, played a bit of it. I haven't got past the first level, and, uh, only, like, maybe halfway through. And I've, uh, but mostly I've done it to experiment with the items. And we've got a boomerang, which we all know what that does. We've got the arrows, which again, we all know what does. And we've got bomb chew, which, if you don't know what it does, it's a mouse-shaped bomb with wheels that you set down and it charges into an enemy or an object. I like the bow and arrow. We've also got the rock's feather, which allows us to double jump the hook shot, which allows us to swing around and do some really nice sword sweep thing. Little sword sweep attack, it's really nice. I like it, but I don't want to use it. And we've got the cuckoo, which is a chicken, and you take it out, and I don't really like it. We're going to use the fairy, or hero's bow, and the rock's feather. The Level 1, the Dirt Temple. That's our antagonist, Link-ish, I guess. I don't know his name, I don't they never mention that's the double jump. You jump, and you jump again. You can jump, you can double jump. You can take it your bow, aim it, can't aim it down. But you can and fire arrows. You can break jars, or shoot, we can pick up rupees. And we can, of course, chop things. These are Octoroks. Die, Octorox. We can break open these jars for some rubies. We can stun Octorox with our, uh, bow. We can't things up with the bow, so we will never get that rupee. See? Oh, dear, there's uh, some lag with the game when I used to record it. Ugh. It's, uh... It, it's closest... To, we can also do that. We can do a down thrust. Was a uh, gonna wait till it's goo, but not. The things I love about this game is Link's faces, especially that face, the stabbing things and lifting things face. Jump! Shoot, shoot, shoot! This is a, uh, fight room. There I assume, at least, I don't know anything past the Dirt Temple. In fact, I don't even know more like half... No, more than half. I don't know the entire Dirt Temple. And then these are Tektites. They're the spider things that hop around. Now Tektites and bats. We can also attack and get interrupted by bats. Spin attack drains some of our magic meter. Here we go. Spin attack. We can press up to open chests and receive money and hearts. Hearts not shown. We can get mostly money. Which I have no idea what it does. I assume it does something for the system. Like, uh, later. Really? That's not enough to kill one of those? I assume a reward system, you know, like, uh, use money to buy extra hearts. I guess we can't get up there. I know you can get up there with the hookshot and the kugu, but I don't think you can get up there with the rocks feather. Depending on how you play the game, this wall is apparently breakable. I did not know that. Plus 500. Nice! I guess we can't jump back up, but I'm not gonna... If we can, I'm not gonna bother. Whatever, I didn't want that chest anyways. That chest's for nerds. Nerds and other losers. I just wanna use my bow to kill this Tektite repeatedly. Kill him repeatedly, yeah. I can drop down I love that attack, because I love the face. And then if you press it really fast, you can do the standard quickly use your sword swing. 
which I could never really pull off in the original uh, Ocarina of Time, but Master Quest and uh, Wind Waker and Majora's Mask for the uh, all of those, I can pull it off really well. Like it, it takes me practice to do it in the original. I had to learn how to do it. Another kill room. Now we have to fight an Armos. Oh man, these guys are annoying. Those enemies, I do not believe, were made for a uh, 2D Zelda. When you can't dodge into the third dimension. Yeah, they're kind of a jerk. In this game. They're pretty easy in the other games. Um, so yeah, we have to swing at the Armos. I don't think I'm going to finish, uh... Link to the Past? Ah, I always don't remember that game's name. We can use this pot of twigs to light stuff on fire. For doing... We get a chest, there it is. A chest with wings. And money and hearts pop out. Money and other people's hearts. I think we should take this. Yeah, there's like a tiny torch side there. Because we can take this to light that. And if we light that fire... No? Really? It's fine. We get extra money, or sometimes an extra key. I assume that's the boss door. It would make sense if that was the boss door. We have a key. Well, I've got to the boss in there. But I've got to the boss in here, and... Problem. This is an Im block puzzle. We can have our hero push a block onto a switch to open this block. Let's go down here and clear up the enemies. Uh, I keep setting my hand down to uh, A, X, and C, like most uh, Flash or indie games use, but this game, man, it's a rebel. It uses a, S, and D for your normal attacks movement. Now, as soon as that block's disappeared, it's cursed this block. Because we push it over here, and... Hand shows up. Jerk hand. And we can push the block exciting, I know, viewers. And, uh, we can shoot him. Three hits with anything will make him run away. It seems that the... Octorok will activate that switch. I just swear I saw the Octorok activate that switch. I know we can't. Our projectiles are no use. They bounce off walls. Hmm. Why won't that Octorok activate the switch again? Hey, Octorok. Switch. I'm not exactly sure what ends if Mr. Handy over there gets too friendly with the, uh, block. He gets too handsy with the block higher. So I have time to run down here and have some time to... No. No. Bad double jump. Stun and slice. We can use our... I guess it's the fighter's sword. No, no, actually this is probably more along the lines of, uh... Judging by the color of Link's sword... God, I'm a loser. This is probably more along the lines of, uh... The... Not Minish Cap... Yeah, Minish Cap. Oh, I went the wrong way, duh. 